Hi, I'm Kaylee from Marcus Space, and this week we'll be removing the mold from the propellant tank, as well as continuing work on the test stand for our test article. In 2014, ARC are located in US, and since then we always had the support of uh, Movida that introduced us to various opportunities and uh, people in the area that could help us uh, have a smooth uh, relocation. Uh, we've heard on uh, Sunday that uh, the local government want to cut the Movida funding for 2018 in half. So we are here to support Movida and to convince the local government to continue the financial support for them. Madam Chairman, Commissioners, I'm here to uh, support Movida and to tell you a uh, success story. Um, I'm, uh, my name is Dimitri Popescu, I'm an entrepreneur from uh, Europe, and I moved here in 2014, I already did my company here. And uh, since then, we created 21 jobs, we hired local employees, and we spent uh, almost $750,000 in the local economy. Right now, uh, we are developing a rocket, a uh, orbital launcher with, uh, um, in partnership with uh, Spaceport America, and uh, we have a contract pending with the Department of Defense. Uh, when we came here, Movila introduced us with the city, with the state, with Spaceport America, with uh, NASA, NMSU, suppliers, and landlords. And none of these, I'm pretty sure, would not have happened without the Movida support. When I first came here in the city, I um, met with the only um, person in town that I was uh, familiar with, uh, Pat Hines from uh, NMSU, and she was telling me, hey, go in there and talk with um, David from Movida, and he's going to guide you through all the, the process. And this was happening. And between 2014 and 2015, I was traveling once in three weeks, once a month, between Europe and um, Las Cruces, trying to establish the company here. And uh, all I was meeting almost daily with Movida and they guide us through, through this process and uh, with their help, we've made um, our company a success in the city. So I really think that cutting Movida's funding will be um, a bad decision for the community and will have a bad impact on the economic development. Okay. Thank you. calculations again but uh, I guess the tank that we tested was lighter than the Atlas tank and was able to take almost four times more pressure so I just uh, finished working inside, uh, it was very bad, I stayed inside for three hours, I didn't want to let anyone uh, work inside, I have previous experience with that, uh, I was extracting the mold from uh, the tank, and now the tank is uh, good, we just need to remove the aluminum foil, and uh, yeah, it was one of the worst experience of my life, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is, go forward. We are in a coffee break here and uh, we received good news 
that the county is not going to cut Movidas funding and uh, this is very good for us, for the economic development of the area and uh, we are very happy with this decision because uh, Movida is uh, a big ally of ARCA. They were uh, continuously supporting our activities and they will continue to support our aerospace activities in the area. And that's it for this week's episode. Join us again next week when we'll be mounting the test article onto the test stand. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospike.